Hey everyone, Justin with Bousquet Realty Group here. It is May 7th, that'll be Friday. Uh, we're getting ready to get stormed on, so uh, I gotta get out the door here in a moment so I can get over to uh, one of my listings. I apologize for the video coming out a little bit later today. I uh, just got inundated with a lot of things. Wanna say happy birthday to my mom. Happy birthday, mom, love you. And uh, I wanna go ahead and get started with this question. This question came in via text message from one of my other real estate friends in the business. Um, it's a great question. I really wanted to, um, you know, to answer this one because quite frankly, it, it, it's a wonderful question. If you guys have questions that you want to have me answer, uh, you can send me a message uh, directly to my email, justin.busquet at uh, exprealty.com. You can go to my website, Bloomfield CT Homes for sale.com that is actually one of my websites that i have it's for the bousquet realty group you can get me there or you can go to justin realty.com you can get me over there as well you can also just send me a text message if you have my personal information you'd be happy to do that you can find all that on my website too so the reason without further ado the question that we're getting um so this question uh was a, was a great question how much is it going to cost me to sell my home? Great question. This is seller's question. So when you're meeting with uh, potential people who want to uh, sell their home and move, uh, they're going to ask this question. And I hope that they do. And if you don't ask this question, you really should. So there's some things to factor in when you're purchasing or when you're selling a property and you have to go purchase another one. One of them is, is what's the bottom line? What's the, the bottom line? The net. The net. What uh, really we have a, a, an amount we're gonna sell our house for and then we have to deduct all those expenses. So the question I got, which is a good one, is what are those expenses? Well, just one of those expenses would be taxes. In the state of Connecticut, you have to pay state tax when you sell a property and you also have to pay a municipal tax or a town tax when you're, purchased, when you're selling a property. So when you do that, you have to figure in approximately one to one and a half percent, depending on the price of your property, uh, and because there are some pricing guidelines in the state of Connecticut for as far as uh, when you sell your home. Right now, there's a proposed conveyance fee tax that is looking might go into effect, so you got to really pay attention to that. Your real estate agent should know about those things and what's going on. They really should be bringing a net to seller sheet with them when they talk when you talk to them. Uh, when you talk to a real estate agent, you have them there to kind of go over the final numbers uh, because they're gonna, you're going to want to include these things in. Here's a big one. Mortgages. You got to pay off your mortgage in order to sell your house. So you got to make sure that you include that in, in what you sell your house for so you can get to the number that you need to sell your home. A lot of people you'll find they start paying all these little fees and then they go, oh, that wasn't nearly as much as I thought I was going to get when I sold my property. Well, there are other things you got to pay for too. Like in the state of Connecticut, you have uh, an attorney that typically does the closing for your property and there's a fee associated with that. There's also credits and debits for taxes like property taxes in the state of Connecticut, depending on the, the time of year that you sell your property. Some states require or some towns require you to pay your taxes on a biannual basis, which is just twice a year, or they'll make you pay it on an annual basis, depending on what town you live in. So you might be getting a credit back to you at the closing table with that. So that could be a cost or that could be a benefit for you at some point for selling the property. Just one of the, just one of the many things that you should probably um, keep, just keep in mind when you're selling a property. Um, sorry, I was going over my notes real quick just because this was a this was a good question, and I wanted to go get over a net seller sheet. Oh, uh, repairs. So, if you were to sell a property and you have an inspection done to the pro property, the buyer can make some requests for some repairs. Um, does it is it happening in this market so much? Not really, but it kind of is, especially if those repairs are sort of significant concern. So, I'll give you an example, and just a really easy one. Your water heater is 14 years old. Let's just start there. Your water heater is 14 years old and you've never serviced it. Well, if the buyer comes into the house, they're saying, well, water heater is kind of, kind of important. I really would like a, no, a new one. Well, a new water heater can be anywhere between $300 to $1,200 or $1,500 or $3,000. It depends on the size of the house and uh, how much hot water this, the system needs. 
Um, so home maintenance costs, things like that, that may need to be done prior to, to selling the property is important, like servicing your boiler in, the syst in, in those systems. You might have to do some cleaning or some staging. Uh, there, there's gonna be uh, costs for photography if it's not absorbed by the real estate agent, uh, depending on what type of service you pick out. So there's really a lot of, pro a lot of different costs that, that could be associated with selling your home. So it's really good to just write all those things down and that way you have an idea of where you're gonna be at the end of the day after all. Everybody takes their pieces, including the commission that you're gonna have to pay in order to uh, pay a real estate professional to sell your home, which they're gonna use for marketing and, and getting the best possible offer for you and at the best possible terms, hopefully. That's what they're supposed to be doing, that's their job. So. Um, some of those costs can be absorbed onto you. So you're gonna need to know who's paying what and where and how and when and why and who. So um, thank you very much for listening, guys. I went over five minutes, but it was an important question. I wanted to make sure I got that information out there for you. If you have, again, if you have questions, go ahead and email me. I'll put the links in the in the description below. I'll also leave, uh, leave the, the links to my website there. You can text me if you want. Be happy to provide you with a home evaluation report for free if you something that you'd be interested in uh, in getting to know kind of how much your home is worth. It's not exact. I really have to come out to the property and because everybody's unique and take a look at uh, the condition of the property to give you kind of more of a balanced idea of how much that your property would be. So well, thank you very much again, guys. Have a great weekend. I'm gonna record like two or three videos today. So you're gonna see the same shirt at least for one, maybe two week videos over the weekend because I've got a lot of stuff going on this weekend. It's a great weekend to be in real estate. It's a great weekend to just enjoy yourself. Have a nice weekend. We'll talk to you soon.